if you have old faded transparencies that you've scanned and you want to restore them in Lightroom, this is what I've figured out how to do. May not be the only way, definitely not the only way. Photoshop is more powerful, but I don't have access to that right now. So if you're in Lightroom, try this out. That's what we're gonna work on today. So here I have a slide which I scanned with my Nikon Z6 II and a macro lens. Uh, and you can see that it is badly faded. It's lost its blues and greens and pretty much only retained the reds. This is probably ectochrome slide film from somewhere in the 1950s that my dad shot when he was living in Guatemala. If you know where this is in Guatemala, leave a comment and let me know. I'd be fascinated to find out. Anyway, I'm gonna try to restore this. One option is to just go black and white with it at this point, because it's so badly faded. But there's other things you can do, and this is what uh, I'm gonna try to show you here is my approach. First thing is to make sure your exposure is right. I'll just go ahead and hit auto exposure on it. It's not doing a whole lot. It's a pretty good image to begin with. And I'm gonna leave the color alone right now. I'm just gonna play with the curves. And what I do, I'm trying to not lose information. So what I'm gonna do is go to the color curves here. I'm going to take these sliders on the curve and just take them to the edges of the information that we've got. That's the red, do that with the green. Losing a little bit down here and a little bit up here. And then the blue, not gonna move that bit, but I'll move this bit over here. And then we go back and we tweak a bit more. You can see up in the right hand corner up here, what I'm trying to avoid is having a big spike of fully saturated happen right there because I don't want to lose the information that we still have. In fact, you play with these a little bit and you can see I can make it, make it better like this, but then I'm blacking out a whole bunch of information. So I'm going to try to tweak it color by color so that I'm not losing too much. I go this way too much. So leave the blue all the way there. Let's get a little bit more blue in the sky. See if I go that far, it's green. Too, too magenta. I'm gonna go to right about there where it's just starting to go. And then the red. I think I'll stay far over to the right. And I might lose a little bit of red here at the bottom end because I'm trying to counterbalance some of those other colors that I have lost with time. Just a little bit. And I'll leave that there. Now, the next thing we can do is play with the curves a little bit. Like what happens if we go this way or this way? Bring that down a little bit. And that back up a little bit. I think that's looking better. Come back over here. Let's try this with the red. That gets a little bit bleh. Kind of like the blue there in the sky, but not the rest of the image. So let's do that. A nudge, then a nudge, and then into the blue. We want a little bit more blue in the sky, but not 
in the rest of the image. So with a little bit of tweaking, we get to that. So now we've got, let's go full screen with it. That's the after right now. That's the before. So before and after. Now you can see I've got, this is a dirty old slide. There's lots of little marks on it. But I think that is considerably better for, what was that, three, five minutes worth of work? And didn't even touch the color um, calibration. There's more you can do there. I am certainly not an expert in color correction, but I think that is considerably better than it was before. You can come down and you can try the white balance selector to do things, but generally that does not make it better from my experience when you've got something this faded. But that I'm reasonably satisfied with considering how bad it was to begin with. Remember, there's the beginning and there's where we ended up. It's a little bit desaturated. Let's go back up and just increase saturation a smidge. Too far. Getting a little bit of red in the shadows if we do that like 1415 maybe increase the vibrance too far and back off I think I'll leave that around there tint nope nope I'm gonna leave that where it is temperature I'm gonna leave alone so here again before and after I hope that helps you with your color correction a little bit. If you know a better way to do it in Adobe Lightroom, uh, the CC Creative Cloud version, please let me know because I've got a lot of slides to correct and I would appreciate the help. Take care.